Which computer should you buy for music and audio production? This is a very popular question amongst musicians, content creators, podcasters, and voiceover artists. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the essential components that you need to be aware of before buying or building your next computer. But first, let's get one thing out of the way. Should you buy a Mac or a PC? Everyone is gonna have an opinion on this, but I promise you, at the end of the day, it really comes down to personal preference. I'm completely invested in the Apple ecosystem. I have an Apple Watch. I also have an iPhone, AirPods. So to me, it made sense to get a Mac computer because it makes my workflow much easier, especially when I'm transferring files. But if you're a PC user and you prefer the Windows operating system, also you want to be able to customize your computer and even play games, then by all means, stick to PC. However, something that you should know about is that certain recording softwares, also known as DAWs, are only compatible with certain operating operating systems. For example, Logic Pro, which is the DAW that I use to record, is only compatible with macOS. So just do your research to ensure that whatever DAW you're using will be compatible with your next computer. Something else to consider is whether to buy a desktop or a laptop. Of course, there are pros and cons to each. Desktops tend to be less expensive, they're also more customizable, and they tend to have higher specs, but they're not portable. Laptops, on the other end, tend to be more expensive because they're they're all-in-one computers, which include the monitor, a keyboard, and a trackpad, and they're very portable. However, they don't have such high specs as desktops, or if you do choose to spec it up, that will come at a premium cost. So ultimately, it really depends on your situation. If you're going to be working every day from your office or from your studio, then I just say go with the desktop. However, if you're somebody that travels frequently and you want to be able to take your studio with you, of course, get a laptop. But moving on to the actual specs, the first first essential component to any computer is the processor. This chip is going to give you an insight of how powerful the computer is and how much it can handle. If you're a Mac user, I would recommend any Apple computer with an M1 chip or newer. And if you're a PC user, an Intel i7 or AMD Ryzen 7 chip should be more than enough to get you started. Something else to pay attention to is the number of cores in the processor. The more cores, the more efficient your computer will be. And if you're also planning to do any video production at all, you may want to look into a graphics card or a chip that has many GPU cores. The second essential component is RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory. And that's going to have an impact on how many plugins, effects, and tracks you're going to be able to work with. I would say bare minimum 8 gigabytes of RAM, but if you can't afford to do so, I highly encourage you to step up to 16 gigabytes. This way, you're not going to have to worry about your sessions crashing, and this is actually the amount of RAM that I have in my own computer. And according to Max Tech, who is a very well-known tech YouTuber that has done hundreds of tests in different computer models, 16 gigabytes of RAM on an M1 chip actually acts like 32 gigabytes on an Intel. So of course, this is just something to think about. But if you want to dive in deeper, I'll leave a link to their channel in the description below. The third essential component to any computer is the storage. This means how much space your computer has to save all of your files. For this spec, I would recommend at least 500 gigabytes of storage, but if you can, try upgrading to one terabyte. And the reason I say that is because it's not a question of if, but when you're gonna run out of storage. Because I promise you that day will come, especially if you're doing any sort of video editing, it's gonna eat up the storage really quickly. But here's a pro tip to save you a lot of money. If you're a Mac user like myself, do not upgrade the storage through Apple because they're going to charge you a lot of money. Instead, I would just go to Amazon and buy an external SSD like the Samsung T7 because this way you're going to be able to buy up to two terabytes of storage for around $200. And then what I do is I just save all of my plugins and my softwares in my computer. And once I'm done with my project, I just transfer it to the external SSD and this will free up a lot of space in your computer and keep it running super fast. And by the way, if you're getting value out of today's content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So moving on, let's talk about my final recommendations. If you're a PC user, in general, gaming computers tend to do very well for video and audio production. But if I were you, I would just build your own custom PC because this way you'll be able to customize it to your specific needs. And there are thousands of videos on YouTube that will teach you how to do this. In fact, even Sanjay 
CC, who's one of the creators that I follow, just released a video on how he built his own custom PC, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. However, if you're a Mac user and you're looking for a budget desktop computer, then I would just go for a refurbished or used Mac Mini with an M1 chip. In this way, you're just going to need to buy a very cheap mouse, keyboard, and monitor, and you'll have a complete setup. But if you have a larger budget to work with, then I would just go all out and get the Mac Studio, which is pretty much a Mac Mini on steroids. It has really high specs, and even award-winning music producers like Warren Heward or Greg Wells use these computers. But if you're looking for a laptop on a budget, then I would just buy a refurbished or used M1 MacBook Air, which is very lightweight and easy to travel with, so you'll be able to take your studio with you wherever you go. But if you want better specs and overall better performance, then I would go with the 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip, which is actually the computer that I own. I just bought the base model, which comes with 16 gigs of RAM and 500 gigs of storage. And like I mentioned before, I just buy external SSDs and this keeps my computer running really smoothly and really fast. Of course, I'm going to leave the links to all of my recommendations in the description below. But if you also want to learn how to build the rest of your home studio for less than $500, then make sure to click on this video.